talk just a second about a couple of OE products. Okay, and I'm going to kind of lump these together because in the OE family, if it's okay. It came out with an OE 15W40 CJ4 diesel. Okay, now, why do you think they would do that? I mean, we had the CI4 Plus AME, then we have the CJ4 DEO and DME. What's the purpose in that diesel market of coming out with an OE diesel engine oil? What do you think? Rotella? Direct competition with Rotella. Okay. But, but, think about this for just a minute, too. Here I am, I'm a guy, I got and buy myself a brand new Dodge pick em up truck with a 6.7 <coughs> turbocharged diesel in it, and man, I got power, I am happy, and I used to have a 5.9 liter Dodge truck, and Amsoil sold me oil, and I ran it for 25,000 miles. I never had a problem. I go get oil from Amsoil, and I go, well, I'm going to run this for 25,000 miles. And Dan, the Amsoil dealer, says, no, you're not. What do you mean? You have fuel dilution problems because your regeneration system floods the engine with diesel and it goes down into the pan and sometimes you have up to two quarts of raw diesel in your oil. Well, what does that mean? That means we're going to tell you you can run normal drain in the rules that the factory said because we can't guarantee the oil will not deteriorate due to that ridiculous flooding of diesel. So what does that mean to me? Well, it means what I want you to do is, I got this oil, see? It's CJ4 rated, and it's only about $9 a quart. And I'd like you to put that in there and run normal drain intervals and pour it out. How's that sound to you? Uh, I think I'll buy Rotilla. Why? Well, because it costs 4 bucks a quart. And I'm still going to have to pour it out at the same amount of time, so why do I want to waste all this money? Well, the OE oil, we bring it out and we go, well, guess what? You can run this oil for the 7,500 miles. But it's a little different than your Shell Rotella T. Because when you flood the diesel into these oils, one of the things you suffer is shear back. The dilution of the diesel causes accelerated shear back in petroleum oils, meaning that these oils, which are multi-grade oils, 1540, start to shear back because the diesel weakens them. And when it shears back, instead of being a 1540, you end up with maybe a 1530 or 1520, right? You're getting thinner over the course of running. We can tell you that the OE synthetic from Amsoil is almost shear back proof. In other words, it'll go the distance, it'll handle the fuel contamination, and it'll maintain its viscosity. And we'll sell it to you at just a little over the price of your Shell Rotella T because it's a normal drain recommended OE oil. Now we're talking about, and I'm just I'm bringing this up in the web while we're talking about sure. it. We're talking about the 1540. 1540 okay. OE. Now you just said some great things about this. Right. Shear back factor and a lot of this. Right. None of it's on the Amsoil website. Well, no. None of what you said is there, and what you said is great English. Again, oh, it's, it's oil for dummies English, which would be <laughs> which would be perfect to have it. It is. Let me tell you, they at the last we were both at the last Amsoil U, not this one, last year when they had and it did come out. In fact, I think there's a brochure about shear bank that they had talking about the fact that the diesel contamination causes accelerated shear bank. And that using even the DME and the, and the DEO in those places, you could at least guarantee that you would keep your viscosity and wouldn't shear back. Where they haven't made the connection yet on the website is the fact that they have not said with the OE 1540 and combined it with that same information that we can resist shear back and give you a solid oil to run for 7,500 miles. It will not suffer fuel dilution shear back that the regular oils do. That's a selling point, and I'm glad you mentioned it because I'll, I'll harp on them to put something on the website. While we're talking, and very briefly on the website here, I've gone through every single page and looked. There is boilerplate on a lot of what Amazon puts on their oils. Yeah. There is paragraphs and paragraphs of the exact same Thanks information, so. and it will make your eyes glaze over when you're asking people to go to the website and look. They need to be more oil for dummies, and take some of the technical ease out of it and make it simpler for the regular oil user to see. Because as we're selling and saying, go to the website right, and check right, it, right. Yeah. people are going and they're getting lost in all this. Well, it all sounds the same. Yeah. Yeah. Lead into the so you send them this video. Yeah. I will. <laughs> the, the thing is, no, you're absolutely right. One of the things that Amsoil talked about at the university, and let me finish on the OE and then I'll, I'll talk about Sorry. the factors. No, but it's a very good point. Okay, so again, 
there's an OE1540 CJ4 heavy duty diesel oil that is priced in a manner that it's competitive. It should be a good fleet oil because we have trouble going to fleets and telling them that we want them to pay, you know, twelve hundred dollars for a barrel of fifteen forty. They if you wake them back up, revive them off the floor, you know. So the OE fifteen forty gives us a chance to compete. Now, how far will the fifteen forty go? Just like we used to say, just as far as oil analysis will take it in the fleet application. It's recommended for normal drain, but you can extend those drains with oil analysis and use oil analysis. And we've always done that, and that's the way to do a fleet anyway. And quite frankly, uh, I believe from my own experience that this OE1540 will not have any trouble with oil analysis being an extended drain oil. But you can't do it just by saying it. What you have to tell the people is, we'll do the extended, we'll do the oil analysis, and we'll take her as far as she goes. I don't know where it's going to go. Let's see what happens. So if they give you a couple of big trucks and you run it, I would be pretty sure in the end it'll go three times the normal petroleum drain and rule recommended by the manufacturer because it's a good synthetic base. It's got a good uh, TBM level on it. It's a good oil, okay? And so a lot of times they don't realize in the fleets if they do oil analysis, they could probably go longer on the shell rotella. They just won't do the oil analysis. So what I'm telling you is that when you do the oil analysis and you prove the oil will go longer, you're really accomplishing something they might have accomplished on the other oil if they just do the oil analysis. But they don't know enough about it, they don't believe in it, whatever the case is. So you have to lead them in that direction for oil analysis for fleet applications. Okay. Now speaking of OE, I wanted to move quickly on and tell you that we will have an OE0W20 <laughs> new oil. All right. We will also have, in the future, an OE ATF. Why are they doing that stuff? Well, if you look at it, here's to me, Angelo's going to give us, in most of these applications, three tiers of oil. They're going to give us an OE tier, they're going to give us an XL tier, and they're going to give us a signature series tier. And they're giving us an inner, a less expensive automatic transmission fluid because, guys, you don't know how much the competition is charging for semi-synthetic Dexron 6. It's almost as expensive as our full synthetic and it's recommended to be drained at exactly what the manufacturer says in the book. So if you come out with a full synthetic that doesn't cost any more than the semi-synthetics that they're making for Mercon LV and Dexron 6, we can now compete. We can actually say, hey, look, wait a minute, let me show you something. I have a full synthetic I'll sell to you at the same price they're selling the partial synthetic. You know? And so we can compete. Now, when I come in, as you've, if you've seen our ATF, now it's a complex product, our regular ATF, but it certainly hasn't been too complex in how the price has gone up. So what is it now? I don't even have a price that's only $1,400 a barrel or something, okay? But my point is, is that a guy's got a fleet of, of cars, some fleet of cars, and he wants to put in a good quality Mercon LV or Dexron 6 product. And so he looks at what's available. Well, over here he's got a semi-synthetic product. And then he would have our OE product or he'd have our, our uh, heavy-duty ATF. So he goes, well, wait a minute. These two products cost about the same. This is a whole lot more money. I'm not sure about this. But gosh, this synthetic here, you're selling the synthetic, full synthetic, means the price this guy's selling me the semi-synthetic. I think mean, this is a good, good place to start. I'll start here. Well, if he starts there and likes that and that performs well, which it will, the next time he comes around, he may say, well, you know what? I think I'm willing to trust this ATF. You tell me I can run this, this ATF over here three times as long as this ATF, but it only costs twice as much? I think I'll move up to that. And I'll tell you something. Fleet supervisors, they're real nervous about transmissions. Mm -hmm. Because transmissions are very expensive. And when they get overheated by these police guys running around in them and that kind of stuff, they burn them up in a hurry. Now, when they're under warranty, they're pretty much covered. But they're only under warranty a short time on those police cars because they put so much time on them. So what happens is now all of a sudden, transmission repairs become very expensive. $2,500, $3,000 to get a transmission repaired. And so they're looking for ways to make sure they can keep that transmission operating for the four or five years to keep the car. That's what they want. They want that transmission to last five years because then they're, they're, that thing's going to auction. 
But they're not getting those things the last five years to control the transmission fluid. They're running into trouble. And the reason is that the transmission fluid is getting thinner and thinner. And as a petroleum, it's down to the point where it can't stay together when it gets hot. So that's why they're making semi-synthetics and they're making better quality. But it's tough to make that real, that extra thin fluid last under high temperature. So, OE transmission fluid, OE uh, 0W30, and 20. OE1540. That's pretty good uh, product. So, OE1540 is here. The others are coming down the line. I can't tell you two to three months when they'll be here, but they're coming. 0W20 or... 0W20, OE.